Successful development here in Nanbu County, Sichuan, is a jog, not a sprint. And this is how County Party Secretary Zhang Gunshun begins every day. It focuses his mind, he says. He is often joined by party colleagues to discuss their schedule. A quick change and he's on his way to review some of the 300 projects currently in progress in Nambu. Projects like this road and tunnel that will help create a new industrial zone and many jobs in businesses ranging from silk and beer production to electric cars and mobile phones. On the other side of the mountain lies the industrial park and here's a new district for the county. With this transport link, we can link modern industrialization and urbanization and integrate the city. He rallies the workers and is quickly on his way, inspecting a huge new school project and a recently launched orange growing cooperative that gives each villager here a plot of land to boost their income. But with development comes disagreement. Villagers here remain to be convinced that farming the land themselves will pay off. So what we're seeing here is a pretty intense discussion. The county secretary is trying to convince the farmers here to farm their own land in the project. If they own the produce, they can make more money. If they just rent their land out to a company, they've got a guaranteed income, but it could be much lower. The farmers are wondering whether to take the risk. The villagers have other concerns too. Some say they're too old to farm the land and need expert help. They also worry about a market for their oranges once they are grown. One by one, Zhang Gunshun addresses their concerns until a consensus is achieved. Then it's off to a local school. The school year is just beginning and the party secretary is here to check everything is in place and the students are happy. Because this is a pretty rural school, a lot of kids actually live here, but they're able to talk to their parents over this video link here too. Uh, and the county secretary is also uh, talking to the parents uh, and uh, reassuring them that their kids are good and that it's the beginning of the school year and it's going to be a good one. In a short break from his duties, Jung tells me that the children remind him of his early career as a school teacher for eight years before he transferred to the county authorities, working for different departments for decades, until he was finally elected as county party secretary. Zhang also tells me a story about when his car was once trapped in a flood and local villagers rescued him. He then joined the villagers and helped rescue others. He says that day cemented his belief in the people and their potential. I feel deeply that people are the most lovable and most respected ones. They will pay back your efforts many times over. The belief in people is revealed here. Mrs. Yao is emotional as she recalls how the party secretary helped her and her husband out of poverty. He personally oversaw the replacement of their old house with this new one. Both now are also employed at this nearby mushroom growing cooperative. Their income and peace of mind have soared. Mrs. Yao is also receiving free treatment for her cancer that is now, thankfully, under control. Chinese people are proud of this fast-changing situation. We are full of confidence in the road of socialism with Chinese characteristics. The county party secretary is the first-line commander. And setting this leading example in the hearts of the people is the most rewarding part of my career. Family by family, this sort of attention to detail has led to Nanbu County becoming a moderately prosperous community, a target the whole of China hopes to achieve by 2020. Achieving that goal requires an all-out effort, and we're invited to a meeting of the county's Poverty Alleviation Committee where county officials and experts share village concerns and best practices. And in his office, the party county secretary is forceful in one-on-one -on -one sessions with his colleagues. There is no room for error, he stresses. Everyone in the party must focus their efforts in raising rural incomes. Nanbu County is blessed with this beautiful scenery. Out on this scenic lake, Zhang Gunshun takes it all in. A moment to reflect. And progress is coming to this part of the county too. Tourism projects are due to open on this lake in the next few months. Then the thousands that come here will be able to see for themselves Nambu's development 
and contribute to it too. Nathan King, CGTN, Nambu County, Sichuan.